Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And I'm on the Appalachian Trail again today, nearing closing my 520 to 40 mile section of Virginia from the Tennessee border to Harper's Ferry. And I'm looking down because I am uh, encountered a magnificent black snake. And so today's episode is gonna be about my black snake encounter and a few things about black snakes. This is my favorite snake. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And here's the make this basic. It's like top. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's I've actually been walking this section of the trail and I slowed down on this ridge top to look at some of these sunny spots and where there's out rock outcrops and logs to see if I might encounter a snake sunning himself also watching the trail. I just passed an overlook called Rattlesnake Point and I was actually looking for rattlesnakes and copperheads as well that might be sunning themselves on these rocks. So I slowed down on this section and just kept my eyes open. And sure enough, I didn't find a rattlesnake, but I found this magnificent black snake. And he's a little bit agitated by my presence. And you can see he's doing a typical black snake maneuver to scare you into thinking that this is a venomous snake. In fact, the black snake is not venomous, but he will coil up as if to strike and he'll vibrate his tail to try to sound like a venomous rattlesnake. He's doing a really good job of that. So black snakes are non-venomous. They don't have fangs. They do have a hard bony palate. And if this snake was to bite me, there's a possibility that he might even draw a little blood. There's been a lot of back and forth between the medical community and people that are concerned about snakes about whether the black snake mouth is full of bacteria. And most doctors will tell you that a bite from the black snake is no more dangerous than any kind of skin cut where you should wash it, clean it, disinfect it, but there's no more greater risk of an infection from a black snake bite than from a cut or scrape. I'm actually sitting down next to this snake right now. Another thing I wanted to point out is check out that tongue. The snakes don't really see great. They don't have ears. And that tongue is central to how they sense their environment. And I think he's still trying to figure out what I am and if, if I'm a threat. And that tongue comes out, grabs molecules in the air, and inserts those two forked tips into the roof of its mouth where its vulnero-nasal organ exists and it senses in that manner. The forks are like ears on both sides of your head. With those forks, it can figure out direction of a prey item by whether there's more molecules sensed on the left side or the right side of that fork. So here we are, close up and personal with the black rat snake. Pantherophus alleghaniensis. I love the panther part of its name. The black panther snake. So I sat down with this snake 
and took some close-up pictures and got a chance to observe a wild snake in his habitat, in his environment, doing the things he did. He didn't seem to be sure about what I was or who I was or if I was all that dangerous. And several times he came up and I almost thought he was going to climb across my leg. I think he came up to get closer and get more molecules on the end of his tongue. And he nearly came up and touched his tongue to my leg. Fascinating. Well, I'm going to leave this snake now and I'm back on the trail heading up to the top of this next summit. I hope to get some great views. Thanks for watching Nature at Your Door. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out my other black snake videos if you haven't seen them yet. And I hope you'll uh, subscribe and give me a like and leave a comment or two. I love hearing from my viewers. Till next time.